good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I am alive, and I soar. Still I run toward the wind, and let the challenge draw me in, cause I want more. Oh, we are all Hey, welcome everybody to Faith Heights Church Studios. We're so glad you tuned in. We have a special treat for you today. Carla, tell us who's with us. Well, good morning, everybody. And today we have our special guest, Jason Bobert, and his beautiful wife, Congresswoman so Lauren glad Bobert. You guys Yay. are with us. We are this so is such excited. a treat. It is an honor to be here. Thank you so much for, for opening up your church, for opening up your studio. This is so incredible. And what a crucial time it is to it get is, out so. the word of God and get people engaged in what God is doing in America right exactly. now. Exactly. So needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, just casual glance at what's going on in our world today. We need to hear from God about the things that are happening because there's an answer to everything that's happening in our country, in our world. Yes. And we're so glad that you, and you, Jason, as well, yes. you're a team here, that you're a part of our government system now because to have someone like you in that position mm -hmm. totally brings refreshing to our heart. And I know millions of others too. And we're just so thankful that you are giving your life mm -hmm. in this part of your journey on the yes. earth and you are representing freedom, you're representing biblical values, we are more than thankful for what you're doing because we know there's a lot of stuff that you have to put up with and negative this yeah. and negative that. We've even sensed a little bit of it just having you in our church. But you know what, thank you. Thank you yes. for being courageous. Yes. Thank you for thank plowing you. through. And thank you for standing up for conservative values. Yes. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. It, it really has been such an honor. And we've seen um, God work throughout this. And I love that you're highlighting freedom because that is what all this is all about. And we need elected officials. We need leaders yes, we right do. now who who know the word of God and who, we, who yes. know that God is above government. The government is not God because we see a lot of politicians who want government to be God, mm. want government to be everyone's provider and everyone's source. Um, but we know that there's there's a greater provider and, and that is God. Uh, but but when that happens, when, when politicians try to um, mess up the proper role of government and instead of allowing government to just keep us free and, and get us into all this other stuff, we see communities start to fall apart. Yes. Um, there, there is no more community right. or, or unity in that community. Mm -hmm. uh, and even the church is, is isolated from helping the people mm -hmm. in their community. Um, mm -hmm. And people are sent then to get government assistance rather than coming to the church. Exactly. But there's so many regulations that are uh, imposed on the church. It's hard to even help people. Uh, and, and so when we get people who are elected and understand the proper role of government, then we can see God work in a really big way. Completely. Mm -hmm. We taught oh, a few years ago on a Wednesday night about God in government. Mm -hmm. yes. Because I think sometimes people see it as a separate thing. You know, like, well, God's letting man do what they want to do. No, he is in government. Yes. Mm -hmm. All through the scriptures, God was involved with kings. He was yes. involved with prime ministers. He was involved with pharaohs. Yes. He was involved with Pontius Pilate. I mean, these are government officials, and the Lord wanted us to know that politics is a part of this life and how much more he wants politics influenced by him yes instead of just man or the other side or yeah. whatever and we need you and the country needs you and we're th we are so thankful you responded to the call on this i got a question for you let yes. me just ask you a question um right off the bat here i'm just curious i've never been to washington dc we need to go yes, yes. All right, we, we need do. to go maybe yeah, it's not the perfect time not, right now not yet. when it's <laughs> open <laughs> yes when, when you're president we'll for sure be there <laughs> We laugh now, but that totally <laughs> right. could happen. But um, I want to know what you've got your pulse a little bit on the climate of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And I think most of our listeners will understand this when I say this. Is there a lot of or what's what's going on there with spirit filled Christians? Yes. Christians that are actually spirit filled like you are. Yes. Um, that is a great question. And that's a question I had before I went to Washington, D.C. Uh, because I didn't think that there was going to be many. Uh, from what we what, from what we gather on the news, um, it kind of looks like everything is a mess there. And I thought maybe there were three or four uh, good guys there in yeah. Washington D.C. 
Uh, but when I arrived there, I saw that there were many That's so cool. righteous men and women who That's are wonderful. filled with the Spirit of God and who are leaning on His wisdom and His understanding in all of their decision making. And so that was uh, the most surprising thing that uh, that I found when I went to Washington D.C. And I'm proud to say uh, that there are even more spirit-filled Christians now um, this year since I've been there because I've Woo-hoo. prayed with some of that's them. So <laughs> that's so great. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, that's awesome. It, it, when, when we go to sleep at night, when we walk our streets, it's just so good to know that mm-hmm. there are because I don't think the news is going to tell us mm-hmm. that. Right. Um, right. You'd have no. to, uh, we'd have to ask no. someone like you who's there and you're in the middle of it and you've seen it firsthand and Thank you. Yes, that yes, brings yes, reassurance yes, to yes. our hearts. Well, one story that I love to share is my very first experience in a, a group of members. There's there's about 40 of us. It's called the Freedom Caucus. And this group was assembled to actually uphold the Constitution. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> you, you would think that Congress was a, a, a established <laughs> yeah. for that. Uh, right. but, oh, but they were assembled to debate the constitutionality of everything that is done there in Washington, D.C. Anything that they plan to do, they say, is this constitutional? And sometimes those debates can get very heated. And there was one member, he's from Georgia. I hope you look him up. His name is uh, Congressman Jody Heiss. And hopefully one day he'll be uh, Secretary Mm. of State there in Georgia. But we were having a very heated conversation one day and um, just debating the constitutionality of what was going on. And he stopped everyone and he said, how about we seek God's counsel in this? And we all bowed our head and prayed and sought for God's wisdom and asked God to to come into that room and and grant us wisdom. Mm. And, you know, there was a lot more direction after that prayer. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there was. That's um, I think our forefathers hearing that are probably going good. Yes. You know, good. You know, they. They're looking out from the grandstands of heaven, and when they see things like that, I'm sure they're in great approval. Carly, yeah. you had a couple of questions. I want yeah, you to well, ask one of them, you know, too. a lot of our viewers are Christians, of course, mm-hmm. and uh, like to pray, and we like to pray for our government, those who are leaders, those who are in yeah. authority, and yes. so we do pray for you all the time. We pray for your family. Yes, yes, yes we do, Jason. And and appreciate that. Yeah. And, but what would you say, if I was to ask you, what could we as a prayer group here at our church and other churches is there like one main thing that we should be praying? You know, I know we should always just be praying for the will of God right. and, you know, but there's so many things mm-hmm. people are saying, oh, we need to pray for this. We need to pray for this. Is there like one thing, main thing that so you would ask us to pray for? That, that's a great question. And so I'm, I'm always seeking for the wisdom of God in anything that I do. And I want to make sure that this is, is God's plan that I'm, I'm seeking after and not my own desires. Uh, but I, I love the Ephesians prayers. Yes. And if you're oh, a born so again, good. spirit-filled Christian, praying out those those prayers in Ephesians or yep. Colossians one nine, mm-hmm. uh, you know that just opens up so much to to ask for to have a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge yes. of God. Yep. I mean that is so powerful because when you are are truly seeking Him and His wisdom and 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 trying to grow that relationship even deeper and know God more, um, then you can't help but but seek after what he desires and after his heart. That's good. Um, but mm-hmm. with that, God also cares about the details in our life. Mm-hmm. And so I think that we all need to be praying out what God is putting on our hearts individually. And we need to be praying for people to raise up and, and get in their positions that God yes. has called them to. Because he has called each and every person to do something and someone else isn't going to do it for them. Right. It's 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 on it's on you to do the call that God has called you to. It's on me to do the call that that God has called me to. And so for people to recognize that and begin to step into it, I think yeah, is that's is very awesome. important. Yeah. That's well, and you have a part to play in the body of Christ, and we need you doing your part, but you need all of us doing our yes. part. Actually, Every sure member. This morning, in yeah. Their yeah. Place. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, every member in their yeah. place. And, you know, I have, I have my husband and, and he's actually, his place, uh, his capacity has certainly expanded since <laughs> I stepped into I'm mine. Sure. Um, I mean, our world is completely different than what it's been for 18 mm-hmm. years. And, you know, that, that can be challenging. Just you, you know how to operate together in life one way and then everything changes. And, uh, and so just, just being able to, to flow and uh, experience that newness that God is bringing you to together yep. Uh, is, is really important. Yeah. So, Jason, your view of this, I mean, you probably 
didn't think of yourself maybe being in this position when it, when you were a teenager <laughs> or whatever. But yeah. but God's grace is there to handle this, right? I mean, it is, and uh, I see it every day because uh, when I'm overwhelmed and all that, and there's always something I can feel the prayers coming in for the family, yeah. and it just gives me grace and helps me to give it to my children and continue that on. And I've also become one heck of a cook since someone left. <laughs> That's yeah. totally yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. You don't get to go eat for free at the restaurant? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I probably should. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take advantage now, we, of that. We enjoy it. Uh, it's all boys, so we barbecue a lot and yeah. uh, just, you know, living life and uh, yep. hanging out and being men. So yeah. yes. grow them strong. <laughs> well, That's right. I know, I know that you're probably not in the limelight a lot when, uh, obviously, the position you're in, but we know and i know a lot of other people know that there is that so to speak uh behind the scenes part like a heart to a body without mm -hmm. it you're a goner and i know in your position it's like that too because i know lauren needs you i know we need you being where you're at just for for lauren to be able to be where she's at and so i just want to say thank you to yeah. you jason because you're that. you're you're a guy that maybe doesn't get all the the same attention but we see you there and we know yeah. without you lauren right. it'd be tough it'd be a real tough haul Yes. Well, thank you. Yeah. And so we see that yes. and recognize we that. Honor that. So yes. any chance you might start up a shooter's grill in Washington, D.C.? <laughs> <laughs> we love that. that. that <laughs> Washington, D.C. might be the last place because I I, I'm there. I'm there plenty. As soon as we're out of session, I, I hightail it out of there and yeah. get on a plane and come oh, back man. to uh, to Colorado. Um, you know, it is it is an honor to to be in our nation's capital and and to serve there. Yes. Um, but I, I don't think I'll be serving burgers there anytime soon. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe not wearing your six gun and Winchester and all that. Right, right. <laughs> I do have my concealed carry permit for Washington D.C. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm able to carry in the Capitol complex, mm -hmm. not on the House floor, um, especially since uh, Speaker Pelosi has installed her metal detectors. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, there's 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 areas where members are allowed to um, yeah. still be free and, and, and have their constitutional yeah. rights. But we, we still push back on anything that goes against the Constitution because we know that if we cede our freedoms there in the House of Representatives and the People's House, there's not much hope outside of the People's House yeah. for freedom. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So if you had to say something to somebody you know doesn't agree with you, mm -hmm. you know doesn't like you, you know that's just a, totally against what you believe, a lot of times, it's almost like if you were able to talk to those people mm -hmm. on a one-on-one -on -one basis, they would yes. understand and go, oh, Lauren, well, you're cool. I, <laughs> I didn't know that. I mean, right. I mean, I think if they knew, knew the real Jason and Lauren, mm -hmm. they would love you. Yeah. Well, and so well, what look, would you I, say if you had a minute just to talk down? And yes. Sit, so. Well, if, if I only um, had read about me, I wouldn't like me. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's, there's been quite a bit yes. of stories out there and, you know, I, I don't always like the girl that they write about, but unfortunately, um, we, we are in an age and an era where, um, the media will, will say whatever they want and mm -hmm. they don't really care, um, about truth. Um, it, it was interesting, even, uh, CNN came out and, and finally did a fact check and said that someone was lying about me. Um, you know, somebody was saying that I took over $200,000 in PPP loans for our, our business. And it went, it went pretty far and wide. Um, but even CNN uh, stepped in to say, no, this is not true. This, wow. you know, and yeah. so it's like, hey, well, look at that. We're even to a point mm. where, where that's happening. But um, to, to answer your question, that has happened. Um, I've had many conversations with people who do not agree with the policies that I agree with and, um, and have only read about me. And to sit down and have those conversations, it's, it's wonderful um, to bad. engage with them. And, you know, I'm here because I love people, not because I love politics, not because I love a certain party. I love people. We, we own a restaurant because we have a heart to serve people, not not to be millionaires, certainly, and, yeah. and a penny pitch in business like a, like a restaurant. And and so to sit down and hear from them and then uh. and engage and analyze our differences is, is very important. There's actually... Two um, members of the Colorado delegation that I was sitting smack dab in the middle of on a plane one day, and uh, and the feedback that I got from that conversation um, from another member of Congress was incredible. I was just talking, having casual conversation, and one member um, said, "You know, we talked to Lauren, and she's not there as crazy go. and radical as we thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's actually kind of reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> like imagine that." So. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I love having those conversations and, you know, the, the, our first amendment gives us the freedom of speech. So we Absolutely. can have those conversations so we can have dialogue and debate. Mm -hmm. And I would love to get back to that place. Um, even in the house of representatives, 
right now there's no regular order. There's no regular debate. Mm. Um, the, the member says That's what's wild. on their mind and, and walks away That's from the wild. microphone instead of actually staying and listening to the opposition and, and trying to get the yeah. other side of the story. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Well, I know that a lot of the messes and the craziness is, is all misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And yeah. a lot of it is yeah. probably because of the media mm -hmm. feeding oh, yeah. information from their point of view or whatever. But just n we've known you for a few years. We've yes. had you in some meetings here in the church. But yes. just hearing you today and hearing your heart, you can tell you're about the people. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. it's not about the yeah. power. Yeah. It's not about right. the, the fame. It's about the people. And that's, I think, why you are in this position. I believe the mm -hmm. Lord saw that heart and he put you there. And we're glad you're there. Thank you. Um, I, yes. Carly, you've got another question or two probably too. But one of my questions I wanted to ask is, there's probably young girls watching, yes. uh, eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, 12 years old, maybe high school, junior high, whatever, middle school. I mean, they could do what you're doing. Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. you own a mm -hmm. restaurant in Rifle yes. called Shooters. You're, you're a mom of four, you're a wife, you're, but yes. you're also a congresswoman now yes. of yes. Colorado. Glory to God. And yes. say something to the younger people because I think they are interested. I think they're very interested in what's going on in politics. Absolutely, but mm -hmm. they are. And I, I'm, and I meet so many young people who are engaged. And uh, I, I love this season that we're in right now because so many people are paying attention. They're watching yeah. um, the YouTube or the Rumble mm -hmm. videos and, and, and really seeing what's happening at, um, at our nation's capital. And I'm here because I saw the American dream um, being stifled. And I wow. don't want to lose the American dream. Jason mm -hmm. and I are both here today because we live in the greatest nation in the world, yes, because of do. the yes. rights that we have, because of the opportunities that we have. We don't have guaranteed outcome, yeah. but we have guaranteed opportunities. I, so we, can, we can try to anything we want and we yeah. can fail at anything. Yeah. And that's all right, and, yeah. Yes, it's okay. it's okay to mess up and fail and try again, but we have the opportunity um, to, to make those mistakes. Yeah. And I, I saw that going away and I wanted to be sure to preserve this land yes, of opportunity, yes, yes, these yes. freedoms, this American dream for generations to come. And so to the, to the young girls that are watching, um, you can do yeah. anything yeah. Yes. Um, that you set your mind to, that you set your heart to, that you believe God for. Mm. God said that all things are possible to him who That's believes. So good. And I love it when I have an idea that's so much bigger than anything I can handle on my own because I know God has to be there involved. And, uh, and I, I, I've heard it said, uh, my pastor in uh, Glenwood Springs, Pastor Mark Bentliff, um, he says that the anointing of God will take you places your character cannot keep you. That's good. And, and that's a great reminder to, to put God first mm -hmm. and to seek him in all of this. And, and all of these things are possible. That's right. Um, and so uh, with, with all of these girls, um, it's, it's okay to, first of all, be a mom. It's okay to so be a wife. You know, you, you don't have yeah. to go on and take on the world right. and, and get every degree that there is and, and, and just try to overachieve. It's okay to take care of your family. You want to be an influencer? Mm -hmm. Be a mom. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the exactly. greatest influence yeah. you yes. can so have. Good. Yes, don't ever is. ask a mom, do you work? Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Yes. I had, I had a, a roughneck in a committee hearing one time, and uh, he said that he worked a record 95 hours in one week. And as a mom of four boys, it's like, hey, listen, I've had part-time jobs time. before, too. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> um, but yes, uh, we're, we're certainly reaching a time where um, we, we are all equal and women can do whatever they want to they do. They can be a congresswoman. They can absolutely they can be, be the a president of the United States. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, they could be and the empress yes. of the world, right? I mean, wh 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 why stop, right? Right, why stop? <laughs> why stop? Yes, yes. And, uh, and just seek God in that and he will reveal exactly, exactly what he's calling you to do. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, a mom is going to be re rewarded in heaven mm -hmm. with the same size reward for being a faithful mom. Yes that a faithful empress is going to get. Absolutely. I don't believe God passes out rewards on status, but service right. yes. and faithfulness. And you can be faithful, whatever he's called you to do. Yes. And, and God is a rewarder. Oh, totally. Yes. Mm. yes. He is not a taker away. -er. That's right. He's a rewarder. That's right. And I heard Kenneth Copeland say this years ago. He said, America is the only country. And I don't know if it's still the tr true today, but I, th mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of truth still today. America is the only country that there's not a waiting list to get out. <laughs> wow. 
And yeah. uh, wow. if that's what you're preserving, yes, that's what we want you there Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, we see yeah. so many people who are, are fleeing to our nation. I've been to our southern border where mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of uh, people are coming in through our mm -hmm. border. We see what's happening in Cuba. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not demanding oh. uh, more food stamps. Um, you know, they're, they're right. limited to five eggs per month per person right now. They're not demanding 10 eggs. Mm. They're demanding freedom mm. from a tyrannical, oppressive, murderous communist regime and uh, and they're waving the american flag while yes. they're doing that yep. they are yeah. risking their lives yeah. to do that and and we see the american flag from cuba to hong kong because that is the one symbol worldwide that represents liberty that's and justice so for all because we are wow. a nation that glorifies god that's mm -hmm. so good oh that is good you know we've had um you know we've we've been married for 36 years I believe it is. Thank you, Lord. 37. Um, 37. 37. <laughs> um, we pastored this church for 34 years. Oh, that's right. And almost 34 years. And we've experienced similar things probably to a politician would experience. I mean, you know, the good, the not so good, the mm -hmm. hand claps, the bad letters, the threats, <laughs> you know, the, yes. the death threats or yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we've had them all. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a lot of times people will point to our past, you know, like, yes. well, you can't do this because of that. And I wrote a book called How to Recover from the Greatest Mistakes of Your Life. And I talked a lot about what you mentioned as she uh, ministered this morning about Hebrews chapter 11, mm -hmm. where God uses what the world would call failures. Yes. But man, did he turn them around and they Absolutely. were used mightily of God. And I know you guys, everybody has a past. Absolutely. I mean, President Trump, President Biden, everybody has a, has a right. past. And, yes. And that's something that a lot of times I think people think mm -hmm. this is the reason they can't do what you're doing. Absolutely. But and that's and so it's wrong. not. It's so yes, wrong. Exactly. And, and, and like I said, it's, it's okay to make mistakes, but, but we live in, in, in a country where you can continue to move on. We serve a God who redeems, who forgives, who, who washes away and our forgets. sins. And forgets. And yes, forgets. Yes yes, yes, yes. And he will cleanse our conscience. You know, a lot of times God has forgiven us of things and we won't forgive ourselves. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and, and he says um, he is faithful to cleanse our conscience of sin. Exactly. And, uh, and so I, I love that. And even here at your church, you sung a song um, that, that, that said, oh, praise him like I've never known defeat. Exactly. Uh, gosh, I love that so much. If, if we'd never known defeat, if we'd never oh. known failure, how would we act today? Exactly. How, how would we respond to what God is, is mm -hmm. saying that he has in plan, yep. for, uh, install for us? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, we, we certainly um, haven't, haven't lived perfectly. I mean, I had a hundred dollar traffic ticket that I didn't pay. <laughs> I got a nice little mug shot, you know, for it. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, I've been in jail. <laughs> oh, wait, by the way, right. by the way, I, I only have a GED. <laughs> There you go. See, I, as you mentioned this all right. morning, so, so we're on the same yes. same level here. Yes. I mean, but you know yeah. what? The Lord can use you. I looked up one translation that says God will use blockheads. One, I don't know if it's a message <laughs> translation it was talking about God takes the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Yes, yeah. One of them says blockheads. I love it. So yeah. there's hope for Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Is, there's hope for Eeyore. So there's great. hope for yeah. everybody. Yeah. 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 But Carla, yeah. ask her. Well, we look. Um, let me say this first. We we look back. You know, sometimes people are like, you know how did you get to where you are mm -hmm. it was for us it was totally a god thing mm -hmm. just like for you yeah. if you would have known us back in the 70s when we were teenagers right. we're, that, we're that old yeah. we're just yeah we're we're just old hippies we're you know yeah. it's like <laughs> it's illegal now but <laughs> <Yeah>. it's like <laughs> it's i know if you would have told us some of the stuff would mm -hmm. be legal today that was illegal back then right oh my goodness I would have we wouldn't have believed <laughs> you <laughs> but anyway yeah we're just proof that god mm -hmm. can just take two people who yes. were in the whole drug, sex, rock and roll scene, mm -hmm. hippies, whatever, get born again, turn Absolutely. our life over to Jesus. And he says, I'm going to use you to pastor a church mm -hmm. and Glory help people. God. And we're doing our yeah. part. Mm -hmm. You're doing your part. Yep. And we need Christians all yes. over to do their part. We do. Yes. We yes. Do. And I just wanted to commit to you that as far as Mesa County goes, we take that very personal because <laughs> this yes. is this is oh. our territory yes, here. Is. God's called us to reach this territory Absolutely. and we will be praying for you and we will mm -hmm. i am going to do my part to motivate the christians in our church and in our valley mm -hmm. to get yeah. out and do what god's called them to do yes. and invade and influence every area every area yes. of life yeah. yes and Absolutely. Um, daniel yeah, did we will it. work together yes. on this daniel did it he yeah. was brought before yeah. presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was found in him they wanted the hebrew children more than their own chaldeans or whoever yeah and he rose up high they respected him greatly yes. that's some persecution yes 
but he came out right. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and look at that. You know, we, we may be facing more um, attempts at a shutdown. I mean, the, I we, we see what Ca California is doing. I hear yeah. what Nancy Pelosi is, is discussing behind closed doors. And, uh, you know, what, what, what are we going to do? What, what is the church going to do this time? Mm -hmm. we, were, yes. we were denied of every one of our First Amendment rights last year in the name of a pandemic. I, I mean, uh, look at our, our freedom of speech. We don't have the freedom of speech. Look at the, the media, mm -hmm. that, what they right. do to suppress yep. our, our speech. Um, and uh, the freedom of religion. We didn't have the right to, to gather and right. worship. Right. Um, and the freedom of, of press, <laughs> that's, yes, praise the I Lord. Um, <laughs> and then you. the freedom, freedom of assembly. Right. Yeah. And we have the right to assemble. We have we, we have the right to petition our government until just a couple of weeks ago. You couldn't come into the con uh, my congressional office and, and petition your member of Cong Congress mm -hmm. for your grievances it's amazing. Um, because it was all fenced off and mm -hmm. with razor mm -hmm. wire and, and armed national wow. guards. Um, and so w what are we going to do when government tries to uh, suppress us again and, and, and shut us down again? Um, because I don't want to see those rights taken. I don't want to yeah. see the right of uh, the freedom of, of religion or the freedom right. to assemble taken ever again. You, no. you and a hundred other million people at least. Yes. Yeah, we don't yeah. want that again. Right. Yeah. That can't happen. Um, you, you just said something that kind of sparked me. You, you said your office that you have mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. was whose office in previously? Uh, George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's yes. So, so cool. So we have the same office. Yes. That is so yes. cool. And yeah. uh, he... He used a different portion. There is uh, all the offices are split into three rooms, and so my chief of staff is actually in um, uh, President Bush's office than than Got Congressman you. Bush. Um, and so it's it's a little bit smaller, but the, it's been remodeled, and so I kind of have the bigger office. Well, now. I just had to say that. <laughs> I just that that that's cool. I thought yeah. that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, this has been great, you guys. Yeah, I mean. Too. Both of you are a breath of fresh air to our city here in our valley and yes. our church. Yes. When we invited you to come in, we put it on Facebook and we put your picture on our sign. And not everybody liked it, but most of the people did. Yes. And yes. those that yes. didn't like it, of course, they weren't violent or anything. Mm -hmm. So we thank them for that, yes. you know. And um, we were going to actually have bottles of water to give anybody outside who was protesting. It gets because it's hot out there. It's hot out yes. here in Western Colorado. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. and you're fighting for the very freedom. Yes. For them have. to even be yes. able to Absolutely. do that. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. I'm honored That's to exactly do so. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, I don't know you as well as, you know, other people know you guys, but from what we do know, you're very beautiful people and we love you yes. a yes. lot and we're with you and you're not alone. And I know yes. there's a ton of people out there yeah. watching that are with you too. And you need to know that when you feel like you are a little bit alone or surrounded by people that don't like you or mm -hmm. would like you gone or whatever. There's a group of people, you know, Absolutely. God said, God said to Elijah, there's, there's 7,000 have a bowed their yes. knee or whatever. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly that's right. Yes. You might have to remind yourself of that at times in your position. Yes. But there are more for us than against us. Yes. yes. Sure. That's right. Yes. Anything you want to say in closing guys, anything on your Jason, heart? Do you, do you have anything? Uh, uh, we're just humbled. We're just humbled yeah. by everything and all the support and all that. And, uh, I mean, it's a blessing on our family just to see that support and, uh, all the prayers coming in. I'm glad. We appreciate it all. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and I do believe that uh, God is calling Christians to these positions of influence right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Uh, he's removing, the, just as you said earlier today, um, he, he raises up and, and he removes yes. uh, another. And he's removing these corrupt politicians and raising up leaders, righteous uh -huh. men and yes. women, filled with the Spirit of God to infiltrate these positions. And, uh, and so... For the Christians who think, you know, I don't get involved in government, I don't get involved in politics, um, I, I want to encourage you. There are conversations that are taking place on a daily basis uh, that you need to be a part of. There are yeah. meetings being had um, at, at roundtables that you need to be seated at because the Creator lives on the inside of you and you exactly. have the answers that the world is, exactly. is searching for. So good. Amen. Do you mind praying before we're over here? I, I think it'd be good if you would pray for all of our viewers yes. to realize that there may be places God wants to put them in. There may be positions he wants them to move into, or maybe they just need to come up right where they're at. But when I see you doing your part, it inspires me to want to tell everybody, myself included, to do our part. Yes. yes. Because yes. it's just as important as your part. Uh, without us, you couldn't do what you're doing. Without you, we couldn't do what we're doing. And I just think sometimes People need to know yeah. they don't have to qualify in man's eyes right. to be what he wants them to be. They just need to qualify in his eyes. Yes. Yes. And so if you want to just pray yeah. a prayer, we'll sure. sign off yeah. with that, and I'll take sure. it after that. Awesome. Go ahead, Lord. 
Father God, I just thank you so much for this time. I thank you for the blood of Jesus that has redeemed us. I thank you that you have brought us into the kingdom of your dear son. And I thank you, Father God, that you have equipped us. I thank you for, for pastors John and Carla today, and I thank you for their viewers. And God, I, I just pray that you would grant unto everyone right now just a spirit of wisdom mm -hmm. and revelation and the knowledge of you and the knowledge of your will father god that their uh, that their spiritual eyes would be enlightened and they would know the hope of your calling father god uh, uh, let us not limit your ability with our words father we don't want to come into agreement with what the enemy is doing we want to agree with what That's you right. are doing, God. There's right. power in agreement. So I, I challenge you right now, if you have been speaking uh, doubt and unbelief and negativity over your life and over your future, stop right now right. in the name of Jesus and speak life. Speak life yes, into that situation yes, 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 because yes, God yes. has called you to great and mighty things that only you can do because he hasn't called anyone else to it. And I thank you that we are going to see amazing signs and wonders mm -hmm. as the children of God begin to stretch forth your hand, Father God, that people all around will notice the work that is being done and, and say, surely your God has done great things for you. And I thank you, Father, for those who, who may not know you, who may not have that relationship for you, yes. do you speak to yes, them yes, tenderly, yes. Father God. It is your goodness that leads men to repentance. It's your goodness, God, that causes us to change our mind about you. Show us that your ways are easy and that we can do things your way because you give us that grace, that empowerment, and that ability. I thank you for the men and women who are going to rise up into their positions that you have called them to, that you have designated just for them, yeah, Father. I thank you that they will be placed there and they will do great and mighty mm -hmm. things in your name, Jesus. And I give you all the praise thank and all you, the glory. Lord. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Yes. Carla, Amen. anything you want to say before we're done with this program? Oh, we're just blessed to have yes, you guys. Thank you. Thank just you. Blessed, blessed, yeah, blessed. Yeah, we're very thankful. Thank Jason, you. I'm grateful for you guys. Well, we're here for you. Yeah, Thank you. I'm serious. Yeah. If you need a church away from home, we're here for you too. We know your pastors in Glenwood Springs love them greatly. Just saw them not too long ago to yeah, keep more meeting here. It was really, really good to see them and hang out with them. But you're both an example to us. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. We, uh, Thank you. We praise God for you. Thank so, you so much. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. We are all